Okay. Here, um, we are asked to solve this question here. Another differential equation problem. Looking at this, you can see that you have both x and y terms. So it can't be direct integration. It has to be variable separable. So take y to the y and x to the x. It's as simple as this. Mathematics. This man comes down here. This one goes up here. So I'll be having dy over y is equal to dx over x. Correct. The swap. Right? From here, this now becomes 1 over y, then dy. It's equal to what have here? 1 over x dx. At this juncture, you see integrating both sides. Integrating both sides. Both sides. What have I got? I have that the integral of 1 over y dy is equal to the integral of 1 over x dx. Um, if I differentiate lean x, what do I get there? If I differentiate lean x, what do I get there? 1 over x. So if I integrate 1 over x, what do I get there? Lean x. In essence, if I integrate 1 over y, I have what there? Lean y is equal to integrate 1 over x. What do you get there? Lean x plus c. You want to make y to be subject of the formula. How do you solve that? Simple. We know that lean, uh, I want to make y to be subject of the formula. How do I do that? Very simple. Convert this back to um what convert this back to logarithm form we know that lean but we know that lean is equal to log to base e so lean y becomes log y to base e is equal to don't worry about this this is not a concern that becomes lean x plus c now here is something about um converting logs to um indices we know that log 32 base 2. If you point this, you have your answer as what there? 5. Check it out. You have this. What does it mean? It means that to convert this to indices, we know that 2 raised to power 5 equals 32. 2 to power 5 equals 32. This is my favorite example. I learned this in, was it Genesis 1? It stuck to my brain. So whenever I want to explain this thing, I always use this. Always. Just that's my brain. So to convert from logging to, to indices is just this one here, this base here, raised to power the answer equal this one here. Compare this to 32. This one here, y will be equal to this small base here, raised to the answer. Will be equal to the small base here, exponential raised to the answer. That's it. Right. That's it. So that's the answer, basically. All right. Next up, please. Copy down. Next up, please. All right. Look up. 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 Let's get this done, please. Look up. All right. Another question on variable separable. Of course, move y to the y, x to the x. This man comes here. For this, I have to do cross multiply. y to this, I have y dy is equal to, this man goes here, I have what there? x squared dx. Integrating. Integrating both sides. Please look up, please. The integral of y dy is equal to the integral of x squared dx. Please, how do you integrate y? How do you integrate the normal x? How do you integrate for here? What do we do? Power plus one now. General method. Right? So it becomes this. I'm using general method here. So it becomes y into one plus one all over one plus one is equal to general method here. X into 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 
plus c. Plus c will always follow the x. So this becomes what there? y squared all over 2 is equal to x into what there? 3 all over 3 plus c. What do you do next? Move 2 over here. Or you say multiply 2 by 2. Becomes 2 times y squared all over 2. I am multiplying 2 by 2 because I want, to, I want to make y squared to be subject of the formula. It's equal to 2 times everything here. I can put that in brackets. x cubed over 3 plus c. From here, this cancels this. So you have that y squared is equal to, use 2 to multiply this. What do you have here? 2x cubed over 3. 2x cubed all over 3 plus this and this 2c. We're supposed to get the value of y, not y squared. So what do we do there? We take square roots. All right. Take square roots. Roots y squared equal to root 2x cubed over 3 plus 2c. This cancels this. So you have that what? Y is equal to root 2x cubed all over 3 plus 2c. Plus 2c. So plus 2c. That's your answer, please. That's how you solve this question. So the, 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 the thing I'm trying to share is this. Know when you're supposed to be adding one. When you're doing taking lean, please know those things, please. Right? If this was one over y, there would be what there? Lean. Right? Get more by joining our differential equations channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the differential equations made easy course. Both links in video description.